Yeah, I've been here already last year and this year I chose to come back to Lanzarote because it's just a really, really good place to train um, IQ foil. We have all different kind of wind and sea states, so I really enjoy my training here. It's been windy every day and I've been able to go a lot in the water and train and so it's really nice, really happy to be back. This is the first race um, that is this long and so extreme. So I'm, I'm really excited to take part this year. I watched the videos from last year and uh, I never challenged myself to so many kilometers in one day. And also it's going to be quite open ocean. It's definitely hard. It's very challenging, but, but it's nice. I think it's a good experience when you see that you did the whole island. It's, it's very satisfying and I hope it will be good win this year and we can do the, the whole thing again. I like this kind of race, like long distance, but this one is, uh, is amazing because I think last year was nine hours. And I crossed my finger to uh, not break anything and manage to finish the race. It's definitely the hardest and the longest race I've done in my life. So the Lanzarote Foil Challenge 2022 was a super crazy event. Actually, we had much more wind than last year. Very challenged race, uh, split in six legs. Completely different leg. Each leg has uh, his own uh, characteristic. Like the first one was super light in the beginning. Then we have uh, some guys that got uh, pressure first, so it was very, uh, the fleet was very split fleet. We managed to arrive. It took us about an hour. There was upwind. Then the second leg, it started to be a little bit more strong. It was a good leg, it was a little bit longer leg. It took us about almost two hours. Race by race, get tougher, tougher. The, the conditions, the waves, the wind. Then the third leg, that, that's when we started from La Santa, that was the craziest leg of all, and uh, until Graciosa Island, and from then the downwind. When the people think that it was to start to be easier, get tougher, the reach, big waves, strong winds. And there were parts that were strong and the, the ocean started to be bigger, the swell started to be bigger. We, we had about a, like a one and a half hour upwind. There were parts with no wind stopped and I was in a gust of like 30 knots, could almost not sail, so this was crazy. It was for me the craziest part of the race. The sailors for sure were already, uh, all of them were tired that make it even more difficult to handle the reflex and all the, you know, the body get the slow. The part uh, just before La Graciosa was probably the hardest, but um, then <laughs> we had the top part of the island which was just such huge waves and we could see all the time the coastline that was so rocky and the waves smashing against it and this waves rolling there so it was kind of scary like you knew that you couldn't you couldn't crash there it was really hard to stay on the board actually it was the that was the hardest part to stay on the board and not fall many people fell and and the wind was actually not that light When we arrived in the fifth leg, I think that was Costa Teguise, the wind started to increase. And we did another two downwinds from there, which were probably like the best parts for me, especially. I had good moments going downwind and we had a lot of fights together with Nico and Amado. We had really, really good battles. The, the easy part was for me just the, the last meters back when I was, um, I was the only girl left standing, trying to survive it. <laughs> it was the most uh, demanding race I've ever done in my life. Uh, spending so much time in the water. 
really good race, really demanding, good fights with others, with good pleasure of gliding, everything. So yeah, it was a good, good time. So it's a completely different regatta, it's a challenge. It's something new in the boards. It was eight hours and 54, which was crazy. Um, strong wind, light wind, wave. Yeah, it was insane. It was a super, super nice event and challenging event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they passed us. Yeah. We were just powerful. 